go. And here. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation. What, what Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. In the 1860s, the enemy was root louse. This disease was about to destroy the entire French grape harvest. Native grapes grown in the San Antonio area were immune to this disease. So Gilbo, the largest liquor distributor in the Southwest, sent cuttings of the wild Texas Mustang grape to France to help revive the doomed crop. So you see, there's a little bit of Texas in every bottle of Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. Rolling and kill. What Francois Gilbo, oh, kill it. And four. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. Okay, hold on. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. Holland and Kiel. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. Holland and Kiel. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. What Joan of Arc did for the French nation, Francois Gilbo did for the French grape. Put your hand on the bottle like you just said. Okay. Yeah. Anytime. In the 1860s, the enemy was the root louse. It threatened to destroy the entire. Just pick it up again. And bump along. Okay. In the 1860s, the enemy was the root louse. It threatened to destroy the entire French grape harvest. Native grapes grown in the San Antonio area were immune to this disease. So Gilbo, the largest liquor distributor in the Southwest, sent cuttings of the Texas wild Mustang grape to France to revive this doomed crop. So you see, there's a little bit of Texas in every bottle of Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. In the 1860s, the enemy was root louse. This disease threatened to destroy the entire, the enemy was root louse. This disease threatened to destroy the entire French grape harvest. Native grapes grown in, this, in the San Antonio area were immune to this disease. So Gilbo, the largest liquor distributor in the Southwest, sent cuttings of the wild Texas Mustang grape to France to revive this doomed crop. So you see, there's a little bit of Texas in every bottle of Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. In the 1860s, the enemy was the root louse. It threatened to destroy the entire French grape harvest. In the San